Do you believe in miracles? Well, the latest Pew poll says that nearly 80% of Americans do. And among the most fervent believers are those who say the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, appears and intervenes in lives regularly, even here in the United States. Tomorrow night, my colleague Bill Weir has a special primetime Nightline report examining those accounts. Among the places he visits, Alabama, Wisconsin, and a village in Eastern Europe where hundreds of thousands have gathered this summer hoping to witness something beyond belief. Driving along the stunning coastline of the former Yugoslavia, it's no surprise that this has become one of the hottest tourist destinations anywhere. But turning inland through out-of-the-way farmland, it's stunning to think that nearly 40 million people have made this trek all because they believe the Virgin Mary has been appearing here regularly for the past 30 years. It all began in the early 80s when six children claimed to see and hear from the mother of Jesus on a rocky hill behind their village called Medjugorje. And in the days that followed, the six would fall to their knees with eerie synchronicity, claiming to see the same 19-year-old, dark-haired, blue-eyed woman. They claim each was given a specialty by Mary, and this one is known as the Healer. She's coming to the Her name is Vishka. Three days a week, the sick, the frail, and their loved ones crowd her street, hoping for a glimpse, a word, or best of all, a touch. For many, this is a return trip. Florita Guterres was here 21 years ago, but this time, she needs a miracle. She is battling stage four cancer. I do believe that uh, the only one who can heal really is Jesus. But there are people, some are visionaries, who can pray for you. And there will be results that you cannot imagine will happen. We watch for three hours as Vishka tirelessly attends to the pilgrims and her handlers collect piles of prayer requests. Hello. Hello. Eventually, I'm led into her childhood home. The decor hasn't changed much since the 1980s when she had most of her visions of Mary in this room. Before Our Lady appears, I see a flash three times. That's how I know she's coming. Do you have a conversation? Does she talk to you? What happens? It's like you and I are having a conversation. Really? Just the same thing. Wow. And does she, and this sounds odd, but does she tell jokes? <laughs> not really. Those times are not for jokes. Uh, do you believe that Mary gave you the power to perform miracles? I don't do miracles. We know who does miracles. There are people that have been healed, but it's not because of me. It's because of God. What do you say to someone who doesn't believe that you're having these, that, that, that you're imagining these things? What do you tell them? I love both believers and non-believers. No difference at all to me. God gave us freedom to decide. If you decide not to believe, there are only a few explanations for all of this. The first theory is that they are acting, but none seem to be exploiting their gift for lavish profit, so there is the possibility that they are seeing something, not from heaven, but their own brains. Over the last 30 years, several researchers have tried to prove it, poking and prodding them during visions. The studies have been inconclusive, but in the world of neurotheology, there is a lot that defies explanation. It may be very difficult to truly differentiate something which is a hallucination from something which is truly real. One of the problems is, is if you visually see an automobile and you imagine an automobile, then the brain is going to activate a lot of the same basic areas. But what about the millions of people who claim their own supernatural experiences? Reports of rosaries turning gold, stories of the sun spinning across the sky. 
And those who believe the mysterious fluid weeping from the knee of this metal crucifix is a sign from above. Where does this kind of faith come from? Well, we certainly know that there are differences in the brain between people who are religious and those people who are not religious. And that implies that there are people who would be more likely to be predisposed to having religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs compared to those people who don't. Outside the visionary Vishka's house, word comes that Florita, burdened by her stage four cancer, has been invited to meet the healer. The Blessed Mother is aware that I'm here. Last week's got to I pray love her for so you. much. I love her so much. A man from Vishka's entourage whisks her through the crowd, onto the terrace, and into her prayer room. No telling if any of this will heal her stage four breast cancer, but for 30 precious minutes, she seems to enjoy pure religious ecstasy. While outside, a sea of faces looks up, hoping for just a taste of the same. The power of prayer will tell you what happened to Florita and bring you the stories of miracle seekers right here in America's heartland tomorrow night at 10 p.m. on our summer series, Primetime Nightline, Beyond Belief.